Hi, I'm Sean Carruthers, and welcome to How Do I on Butterscotch.com. In this series, we're taking a look at how to build your own PC. In this episode specifically, we're taking a look at the optical drive. Now, the optical drive isn't dead yet. It's been in the system for a long, long time with computers, starting with CD and CD writers, moving on to DVD and DVD writers, and now with Blu-ray drives and Blu-ray writers. If you're wondering which one to choose, it'll really depend on what you want to do and how much your budget is. DVD writers are probably the most cost effective these days because they're not too expensive and they will burn DVDs and they'll still read DVDs and CDs and burn CDs as well. Blu-rays are a bit more expensive these days, especially if you're getting a writer because they'll cost a couple hundred dollars. But the good news is they are backwards compatible with all the previous formats, so you still should be able to write to DVDs and CDs and read those old formats as well. Usually your optical drive will live at the top front end of your computer and it has a few guards in place right here when there's nothing in there and typically you can reach in behind and pop these out like so. If you already have something in there and you're installing a second one, you can do the same thing with one of the ones below but you may run into a guard inside the case. You can generally twist these out without damaging the case itself and now you can install something into the second bay in that as well. We're just going to install something into the top bay so we don't need that back, we'll put this back into place. Again, the case should have ridges inside to guide the drive into place. So all you should have to do is take your drive, align it right side up, push it in through the hole, like so, and line it up with the front bezel. You'll see screw holes around the side through these slots, and you'll want to use those to screw the drive into place. Optical drives typically use the smaller threaded screws rather than the large ones. So be careful when you're putting these in. You don't want to strip the holes in the side of the drive. Again, you would just line up the screws with the holes in there and cinch it down. Now the interface on the back of your drives looks much like the interface on the back of a hard drive. It has a power connector and a serial ATA style connector as well. To connect the power you'll put one end of your cable into the power supply or grab one of the cables that's already connected directly to your power supply and then take the other end and connect it to the back of your optical drive. With the data connection you'll connect one end to your motherboard and then the other end will connect to the back of your optical drive like so. And now we have our optical drive in place. Don't forget to check out the other parts in this series where we show you how to install the other parts into the computer. And don't forget to check out the show notes at butterscotch.com for all the notes on the entire series.